Hello Mustang citizens, I'm Firefighter Craig Chelf. On the fire department, we're part of the Community Risk Reduction, which is also the public education. It's that time of year again that we are coming up on the 4th of July holiday, which is prime with family, friends, and fireworks. So we wanted to come with you to you today, talk about fireworks safety. Uh, one of the things, unfortunately, uh, fireworks injuries have increased over the last 15 years. So let's look at that today. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, between 2006 and 2021, the injuries from fireworks increased by 25%. That's 15 years. In, the last, in 2021, there was nine deaths and 11,500 injuries from fireworks. Of those nine deaths, one occurred in our own area. So think about that. That's a little closer home right here in our own area. So let's think about being a little safer right here at home. It is imperative that consumers weigh the risks of using fireworks so injuries and tragedies don't occur. Even though the safest way to watch fireworks is watching a professional fireworks show. But if you choose to use fireworks, let's look at some safety tips to help you use them. All right, so when it comes to fireworks, we all know we have that one crazy friend or family member that's just like this. Easy. Let me try not try to But let's be safe about it and not have that crazy family member. So, one of the safety tips that you can have is make sure you don't let children be using fireworks by themselves without supervision. Even sparklers can hold a temperature up to 2,000 degrees, which is hot enough to melt metal. Our next fire safety tip is keep a bucket of water, a garden hose, or a nice fire extinguisher right handy just in case that mishap happens to happen and you're ready to put that out just in case. So very easy, pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. Correct. That's how it's done. The next safety tip is make sure you light fireworks one at a time and move quickly away like quick. Next safety tip, make sure you never try to relight a malfunctioning firework. Soak it in water and throw it away. Next safety tip, never point or throw a fireworks at anyone, no matter how annoying your little brother was to you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching me. Not touching. Touching me. It's Next safety tip, if you've been drinking or been using drugs, Never use fireworks while you're impaired. Listen, all you gotta do is hold it here, it will light it, and it will run. And it will all over the place. <laughs> all right, and finally, make sure the fireworks you have are legal for your area. Make sure they say, for consumer, not professional. You need to know that they are what you can use. <laughs> Look at it! Oh man, we're gonna get so busted. Let's get out of here. Next, you're going to hear from our Assistant Fire Chief and Fire Marshal, Mike Hartman. He's going to go over the regulations for our area, the times you can use the fireworks, and anything you need to know about what can happen if you don't use them at the right times. Hello, I'm Mike Hartman. I'm the Assistant Fire Chief for the City of Muscatine. I also serve as the Fire Marshal for the City. So within the City of Muscatine, uh, fireworks can be utilized uh, only on July 3rd and July 4th from 9 a.m. until 10 p.m. Uh, there also is the opportunity to use it uh, on New Year's Eve, but we don't have to worry about that this time of year. So one of the big things I, I talk to people about as far as fireworks use is to be a good neighbor. Uh, many of our complaints are not necessarily about fireworks use. It's about people not being very neighborly to those around them shooting fireworks off outside of the allotted hours, uh, shooting fireworks in a manner that causes you know, trash to land on somebody else's house, uh, lighting off fireworks in a way that you know, goes into a crowd or goes into a, into a dry grassy area. Those, those are where most of our complaints are. Uh, a few more things about fireworks use in Muscatine. 
Uh, you can only shoot off fireworks on your own property, on private property, or property that is owned by a friend who told you you could go ahead and, and shoot off fireworks there. They are not allowed to be shot off uh, in any public space, uh, whether that be the riverfront or a, or a park or a street. Uh, it has to be shot off from, from a private residence or private property where you have, uh, where you've been allowed to, to go ahead and utilize those fireworks. So beyond trying to be a good neighbor, uh, if you go ahead and shoot off fireworks and you're not following, following the rules, I, it depends on the situation, but you can be charged civilly, uh, you can, or a civil citation, uh, you can have a fine with that. You can go ahead and be charged, charged criminally as well. Uh, so you would have to go into the court system and answer in front of a judge. Uh, in addition to that, whatever fireworks you're utilizing are subject to confiscation so that the police officer or whoever is there enforcing the, the law or the, or the city ordinance at the time uh, is allowed to go ahead and take whatever, whatever fireworks may be related to that situation. Uh, the big thing is, let's all just use a little bit of common sense You've heard the, the, safety, the safety notes. Uh, you've heard about uh, sparklers having really hot wires that were handing little children and, and after the, fi the sparkler goes out, it's still really hot. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please have a bucket of water nearby. Uh, if nothing else, for the sparkler. Uh, it also helps well, quite a bit if you have any kind of firework that uh, is a dud or you may have some kind of an issue with. So those are a few things that, that we really remind people about in addition to all the the usual uh, don't shoot them at people or cars or anything like that.